Bride price has been a critical component of customary marriage in many Ugandan societies. In many cultures, the bride's parents and other family members decide what the groom will give as bride price. But since 2007, a women's right NGO Mifomi has been in court seeking different declarations against that practice. The gist of their argument has been that it's unconstitutional, lowers the dignity of women, and treats them as second-class citizens. In 2010, the Constitutional Court did not rule in their favor, and the activists appealed to the Supreme Court. In a landmark ruling, the Supreme Court agreed by a majority of 6 to 1 that the payment of bride price in a customary marriage is constitutional. The lead judgment was delivered by Justice Jotham to Moiseje. But the highest court in the land ruled that making bride price as a precondition for customary marriage is unconstitutional. Instead, the justices said that it should be optional and left for discussion between consenting parties. The justices also ruled that the refund of bride price as a condition to dissolve a customary marriage is unconstitutional and should be prohibited. As we speak now, there are people who want to divorce. Um, but at the time they were paying the bride price, they knew that it is a refundable. But now, if they want to divorce now, the question arises as to whether this judgment is binding on them. The law is that uh, this judgment is binding on them. The appellants, Mifomi, also welcomed the decision on refunding bride price. Because when there is no refund, we are automatically undermining demand. The Supreme Court upheld the Constitutional Court ruling that bride price on its own does not promote inequality and violence in homes. Court also ruled that the bride price cannot prevent two consenting adults from getting married and therefore dismissed the plea that it stood in the way of many people marrying customarily. In her lone dissenting judgment, Justice Esther Chisache Mayambala contended that bride price limits consent to customary marriage. She agreed with me for me that bride price was a key cause of domestic violence and inequality in homes. But she disagreed with the notion that bride price should be paid as a token of appreciation to the bride's parents for raising their daughter well. She argues that all parents have the obligation to educate and raise their children well. Justice to Mwesege did not award any costs, arguing that since the matter was of public interest, each side would bear its own costs. Solomon Serwanja, NTV.